Welcome to my channel. My name is Wayne. Today we're going to talk about voice activated control on your W222 or 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. There's many reasons why you want to use it. Uh, I'll give you a, a few examples of it. Uh, let's say if you're like myself, you like to listen to various um, radio stations and anywhere from let's say 93.1 to, to 107.5 and everything in between, you can easily use either the uh, knob on the center uh, control or you can use a steering wheel but that's kind of tedious when it's a lot easier just to press the button on the steering wheel which is the enable talk and you, you verbally say the the station's number and the, the car will switch it for you or you want to make a phone call you can either um, call someone from your address book or manly um, spell out the number or say the number and the car will actually put it on the screen and make that phone call for you so it's almost um, semi-automatic. The reason why I say semi-automatic because you have to do some um, manual intervention um, to make it work. So it's not fully automatic where you just speak and the car, you know, takes over and listen to your command. That'll probably come in the future for Mercedes, but let's just focus on now and um, what we can use to um, use it to our benefit. So I'm going to show you a few things to make this work. The first thing we want to do is to personalize it to your voice and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna change views all right so the first thing that we want to do we want to go into the system settings which is in the car and we want to go ahead we're gonna push uh, this up like that we're gonna go into the vehicle settings actually that's not the setting that I want we're gonna go ahead and push up again we're gonna rotate we're gonna come down so where it says system settings and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead we're going to push that down and now we're going to get this display and we want to come down to voice control and there's already a help window that's already checked you should have that checked and we want to start um you're going to select this option here go ahead and push in would you like more information about individualization before starting sure so, the purpose of individualization is to adapt voice control even better to your voice. To do so, the system reads various number sequences and voice commands out loud in two separate parts. Please repeat these sequences. You can either quit individualization after completing the first training part, or you can continue individualization with the second part. The data stored from a previous session will be overwritten. The data with the factory settings for voice control will not be lost, however. You can reactivate this data at any time in the system menu of your command system. Individualization takes approximately five minutes. Please switch off all devices that could cause interference during this period, such as the radio, telephone, navigation system, etc. What do you want to individualize? digits or commands digits individualization will now be carried out for digits you will now hear 15 number sequences one after the other please repeat each number sequence as a complete sequence after the beep zero seven nine one zero seven nine one three nine nine four three nine nine four Zero two eight nine. Zero two eight nine. Five six nine four. Five six nine four. Two three one four. Two three one four. Nine zero two three. Nine zero two three. Seven eight nine zero. Seven eight. Nine zero. Nine five six zero. Nine five six zero. Two two three three. Two two three three. Zero one two three. Zero one two three. Five six seven eight. Five six seven eight. Three two one five. Three two one five nine zero seven four nine zero seven four one six eight three one six eight three seven eight two six 
7826. The individualization of digits has been completed successfully. The data has been saved. Do you want to start the second part to individualize commands? Yes. Individualization will now be carried out for voice commands. You will now hear 25 commands, one after the other. Please repeat each command after the beep. Read out address book. Read out address book. Delete address book. Delete address book. Save name. Save name. Find name. Find name. Dial number. Dial number. Redial number. Redial number. CD player. CD player. Next track. Next track. Previous folder. Previous folder. Radio. Radio. Previous station. Previous station. FM. FM. Read out station list. Read out station list. Read out traffic messages. Read out traffic messages. Guidance instructions off. Guidance instructions off. Navigation. Navigation. Start route guidance. Start route guidance. Read out destination memory. Read out destination memory. Help telephone. Help telephone. Points of interest. Points of interest. Enter street. Enter street. Enter house number. Enter house number. Enter district. Enter district. Enter town. Enter town. Nearest gas station. Nearest gas station. Nearest gas station. Nearest gas station. Individualization has been completed successfully. The data has been saved. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting this to the test. And basically what you want to do, there's two buttons that you can use mostly. One is to activate the voice control and the other one is to cancel it. Let's say the system is not doing what you want to do. You can go ahead and hit the off button to cancel it. And you can zoom in there a little bit closer. You can see where it says off. And on the right side of the steering wheel, you have the uh, talking button, which is here. So like I said, it's semi-automatic where you do have to push the button in, say the command that you want to say, and it'll follow it. Now, one thing that I noticed about uh, this, if you want to put it into the radio, you have to say tell it to go into that function first, such as radio. And then if you want to say preset, if you want to say the station number, um, then you sit, you have to press this button a second time to go ahead and do that. And the same thing for, let's say I have a, a thumb drive in this car. Uh, you want to first put it into that command first, which is, let's say, USB. And then you tell it to play the next uh, track or next song. Um, so I don't have much in here that I use besides the radio. You have the telephone. And you have the thumb drive. And also, I do listen to Bluetooth on my phone. So, of course, if you want to listen to music on your cell phone, whether iPhone or Android, um, that's fine. You you tell it to go into Bluetooth, and you can go ahead and do that. So, we're just going to go through a few commands. You can basically test this on your own with various options you have in your car. But I'm going to go ahead and come out of this. And I'm going to hit the return button here. And I'm going to hit the radio button just to put it in radio. And I'm going to start giving it a command. And I do have, um, let's go into it. I do have presets. So let's go down to the presets. There go my presets. Anything from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, going all the way down. And I can actually say uh, radio and tell it a preset and actually go into to that preset for that radio station. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now. I'm going to turn up the audio just a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead. We'll, we'll test it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to press the um, voice control. Preset 2. Come back here again. Preset 7. All right. Now I'm going to tell it um, a specific station that I want to listen to. 
93.1. And we're going to try uh, one more station. 106.7. All right, so that's basically you getting the hang of it. Let's go ahead and try another feature. I'm going to go ahead and try the um, the telephone. So let's go ahead, come in here, telephone. All right, so let's tell it to dial a number. Dial number. Please say the number. 718. 718-740-740-2833-2833. Correction. 718-740. Please continue. 2833-2833. Okay. Daddy, home landline. Dialing. I'm going to switch it to the USB because I have a USB thumb drive uh, in, the, in the center um, compartment right here. So I'm going to go ahead and press the audio button and say USB. USB. And so uh, um, play next track. Next track. All right, so it's playing the next track. We can go ahead and hit that button again. Next track. Next track. Let's go ahead and do something different. Search for music. Please select a line number or say a music search category. Search for artist. Please say an artist name. Akon. Please select a line number. One. Number one. Accepted. Is this album correct? Yes. Album accepted. Is this track correct? Yes. Track accepted. All right, so it's already playing the track. Let's go into the Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and select Bluetooth here. Bluetooth audio. All right, and that's actually connecting to my Bluetooth audio. All right, so right now uh, we're in the Bluetooth audio. Now, depending on how you set up your phone, whether to pause uh, music when your headphones uh, detach or your Bluetooth headphones detach will determine how the car um, reacts because it's basically taking command from your phone. So we can go ahead and right now uh, we're in the Bluetooth setting, we're playing music and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press the voice activation. Next track. I'm going to go ahead and press it one more time. Next track. I'm going to do it one more time. Next track. All right, so that's basically um, the audio feature. So it's a semi, semi um, automatic where you do have to do some work. And um, in order for you to have it um, play right and function right, uh, like I said, the setting on your phone determines how the car reacts. So initially I had pause uh, when you disconnect the headphone from my cell phone, and that's the reason why uh, music wasn't playing initially. But once I removed that feature from my phone, as soon as you go into Bluetooth audio, the song will start playing. You can actually switch track by pressing the audio button on the steering wheel and actually changing it in the car. So now what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the CD changer. So we can go ahead and press the voice button again. And I'm going to say CD. The drive is empty. And it's basically showing me that the drive is empty. The last thing that we're going to do, we're going to do the navigation. Go ahead and change into the navigation. We're going to go ahead and hit the voice button on the steering wheel. Navigation. 
All right, and I'm going to go ahead and press the button again, the voice button. Enter state town. Please say the name of the state. New Jersey. New Jersey. Accepted. Do you want to enter a destination? Point of interest. Please say a New Jersey town name. Denville. Please select a line number. Two. Denville. Accepted. Other state. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Three. Bar and restaurant. Other state. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Three. Coffee shop. Other state. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Three. Starbucks coffee. Other state. Accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? No. Cancel. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it back to New York. And we're going to do some stuff in New York. So let's go ahead and hit the start button again. Enter state town. Please say the name of the state. New York. New York. Accepted. All right. So now we're going to focus on the last or several of the last destination that we've been to. We're going to go ahead and go to the steering wheel. We're going to hit the voice button. And uh, last destination. Please select a line number or say continue. And number one. Number one. Accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. All right, so I'm going to go the ahead and... Route is being calculated. I'm going to go Prepare ahead... Prepare to keep right. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and um, move on to the next... Uh, move on to the next subject. All right, so we're going to use the navigation under uh, practicality. We're driving. We can't fumble with our phone. Uh, we can't do anything else. We want to do a search. We want to do a search for a place to eat in the town that we're in. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and press the voice button on the steering wheel. Yeah. Enter state town. Please say the name of the state. New York. New York. Accepted. Do you want to enter a destination? Point of interest. Please select a line number or say a category. Number Please repeat. Number two. In the vicinity. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Three. Bar and restaurant. In the vicinity. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Four. Restaurant. In the vicinity. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category. Three. American cuisine in the vicinity. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a category number or say a category. Four. Applebee's in the vicinity. Accepted. Please select a line number or say a POI. One. Number one. Accepted. Do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. All right. So Prepare to keep right. This is us basically uh, using the uh, voice to control the navigation on the uh, practicality. You're driving. You don't have time to look for stuff. You have the phone um, or you have your voice control the navigation to find you a place to eat. And um, so far it did that. So um, like I said before, using the voice to control the navigation does take some work on your part. Um, you have to have some uh, patience uh, or extreme patience. And um, it'll work. You have to go ahead and play with it and, you know, trial and error. But this is just a gist of how to use the voice activating command on the W222 2016 Mercedes-Benz S550. Hopefully you learned a lot. Subscribe and like, and I'll talk to you soon.